Here is our point three, order of operations with integers. So we follow the same order of operations. This is a parentheses, but it is not considered a group because there's nothing to do inside the parentheses. So we move on to evaluating. There's no exponents, square roots, or absolute values to evaluate, so we move on to multiplying and dividing. Now I'm going to rewrite the five plus, which means I need to put that entire expression in my calculator, negative four times eight. And as long as you type exactly what's on your paper in your calculator, you should be able to come up with these answers relatively easy. Um, if you do just multiply a negative four times a positive eight in your head, you still should end up with a negative 32. Now five plus, now be careful when you type this in. This is not five minus 32 that you're trying to type in, you're trying to type in five plus negative 32. So make sure you use this symbol for a negative. So negative 32 and I get um, negative 27. You could have also, before using the calculator, could have multiplied these signs together because they are back to back. A positive times a negative is a negative, and then you could have typed in five minus 32 in your calculator, and you would have ended up with the same thing. So which way you do it is up to you. You could type this in exactly as it is, but that has to be a negative, not plus minus, but plus a negative 32. Or you could have combined the double signs into one using like the multiplication rules for signs to get one symbol that goes here in the middle and then it's just a matter of using plus or minus, okay? So be very careful when it comes to signed numbers and typing them in your calculator. Now here I do have parentheses and there is something to do inside, so that's a group step. So I'm gonna bring down the four and the minus, and here I'm gonna end up with negative 45. Then again, in my calculator, I could type four minus parentheses negative 45, and I would get 49. Or I could combine the back-to-back -back negatives, a negative times a negative is a positive, and then I could type in four plus 45 in my calculator. Either way, you still end up with the same results. Okay, but that's the rule when it comes to signs. If you see a double sign, you need to multiply them together to get the one true sign that goes in the middle. Okay, so here was this expression. Now we do need to do the division before we do add and subtract. So multiply and divide comes first. So a positive 24 divided by a negative 6 is a negative 4. And here there's no double signs. This is a minus in between two numbers. So when I type that in the calculator, this is a negative four minus 18. You have to make sure you type them in there correctly and you get negative 22. Here's the last one. I do have to do multiply and divide before I can subtract. So I'm going to write six and I'm going to bring down this minus. So I'm only going to be doing 12 divided by negative six and a positive 12 divided by negative six is a negative two. Then I have the double signs again, so it becomes six plus two, which equals eight, okay? Don't use this negative twice, you're not allowed. You either bring it down, or you decide that that's a negative 12 divided by a negative six, and then in which you would get positive two. Now, because this was subtract, when you get your answer, there does have to be a plus or a minus in between. So I suggest bringing it down and then figuring the rest out as you go. Otherwise, it gets really confusing if you include this number with it, um, what the sign in the middle will look like, okay? So I always bring this down, work out the rest, and then if I have to combine the double signs later, I will.